Um, my name is Amaru. I'm an artist manager. I work for Solistic Music, a company owned by Black Coffee. Uh, he's one of the artists I manage, amongst many. And how did you come to manage Black Coffee? I met Black Coffee on Facebook a while ago. I think it was just right after the introduction of Facebook. I sent him a message uh, about wanting to work with him, uh, not as an artist or a DJ, which I was at the time. But I just saw this guy who was very talented, but underrated. And I reached out to him and said, hey, you know, maybe we could do something, you know, let me work for you. Do you have anything that I can do? This is what I think we can do, A, B, C, and D. And as expected, he ignored me a couple of times uh, until then I had to go for plan B, which was create a Facebook group. Facebook groups were very popular at the time, you know. I created this group called Fans of Black Coffee. Um, and then I later reached out to him and said, hey, this is what I've done for you. This is a great platform where you can interact with your fans directly, you know. And that's when he started paying attention to me. And then we had conversations and then later we decided let's get solistic music off the ground and it's gone from there it's gone basically it's gone from there you know so yeah. how many artists have you got on the label now um we've got about six artists we've just signed the seventh one right now um and they're doing very well yeah. okay and are they all dj artists or are they a yeah we extra performers and djs solistic music doesn't necessarily sign djs we sign DJs who are also producers who can create their own music, you know, uh, because it's a it's a it's a record company and we're in the rights mm -hmm. business, you know. Yeah. So we, you know. So give me some examples of acts you've got other than Black Coffee. Yeah, we've we recently signed Da Capo, who is a very talented young man. Um, we also signed um, a duo from Durban, Unplugged, who is a DJ and a percussionist. We've known them for a while. Uh, we also, in the beginning, we had guys like Tulo the Song, who has done very well and continues to do very well globally. We also have signed Shimza, who is a phenomenal young man as well. Yeah. And Black Coffee had an album out in September, mm -hmm. and it's gone platinum here in yeah. South Africa. Yeah. How, how is it doing now? Uh, we've only released Black Coffee's al new album locally, it means right. only in Africa. Okay. Um, that we find of me, that it? pieces of me, yes. Yeah. We we've, we haven't released it globally because we're finalizing the deal with an international label, which I can't mention right now. Uh, but it did very well, you know. For us, we had put everything, you know, in this album, everything that we had. So it had to work. Mm. So when it did platinum in less than a month, we were very excited. You yeah. know, we're like this is what we've been looking, what we're what waiting, we're for. waiting for. And we saw. A big shift as well, you know, people are not just buying CDs because for some time it wasn't available phys uh, mm. physically, it was only available online and it did very well and even now it's still on the top five on iTunes, I think it's number three on iTunes even now. So give me a comparison of the CD sales to the iTunes sales. Um, we've done more, on f we've done more, we've sold more CDs than yeah. digitally and obviously it's because of uh, the accessibility, you know, of yeah. things like iTunes and credit cards or internet in our country. So CD has done very well. It's sold more than physical. Yeah. Yeah. But, but it's, it's, what it's, is the percentage? 60, 40, 50, 50? Um, 60, 40. 60, 40 yeah. is safe. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Which, which I'm very excited about, you know, because locally albums don't do very well digitally. And this one is one of those albums that has done very well digitally. Yeah. And why do you think that is? Um, it's the matter of accessibility, like yeah. I said, you know, I mean, as fancy as iTunes, as fancy or convenient as iTunes and other platforms can be, they're still not accessible, you yeah. know, to ordinary South Africans, you know. An example is you need a credit card, you need to have internet, and yeah. you need to download the iTunes software if you don't have a Mac, yeah. or if you don't have a Mac, you just don't have it, yeah. you know, whereas with physical copies, it's just at the store. Yeah. You go in there, you pick it up, you pay for it, you go out and you jam it on your way home, yeah. you know. So, yeah. And also, I think the broadband issue uh, is still a big one in the country. Because even if you have access to iTunes or the credit card, but the amount of time it takes for you to download the song is a bit discouraging. Yeah. And this is Black Coffee's first album in three years. Yeah. What, what's he been doing in between? Um, he hasn't released an album since 2012. 
So in between, we released a single. We've done a couple of remixes, uh, but most, uh, mostly he's been touring. You know, he's been doing a lot of shows around the world. Uh, and he released this album right after the world tour, which was like well put together world tour, you know, which uh, had, I think, about 22 countries. Yeah. And in the longer term, if we were having this conversation in five years' time about digital, what do you think the position would be then? How much would have changed? I think a lot, in five years' time, I think a lot would have changed uh, in a way that people consume music. Because you see, music is culture. Mm. And now how we access culture is through our mobile phones. It's not that people don't want to buy music on mobile phones digitally. It's just that it's, they're not able to. And there's a lot of discouragement. It's not easy. It's not easy, you know. Uh, but in five years' time, definitely, I think streaming is going to be uh, one of the best ways we access music. Yeah. And who's going to be your next big artist, do you think? My next big artist? Uh, da Capo. Definitely. I mean, I've played his music to different labels in Europe and the US and everyone just goes crazy every time they hear. So I think he's, he's the next big he's thing. He's the one to watch. Yeah, there is, there is another artist that I haven't signed that I'm talking to who I believe is just going to shoot straight to the top. Yeah. And it's a female this time. Okay. <laughs> so again, we watch with interest. Yes, please. <laughs>